get that parasol down here. <laughs> <laughs> Plumber's crack. <laughs> this is Jim. It's Brian in there, the one yeah. that's going to do all the work. <laughs> oh, getting these big spanners out. Getting the IF today because the metrics don't fit. Today it's maintenance on the on the. Let me undo that little thing down there. I loosen these off. Is that the original chain on this bike? Is that yeah, the... it certainly is. It's 40 years old. Not really that old, is it? Uh, if I loosen these little, little devils off here now. I can push the wheel forward. So, so today <coughs> it's maintenance on the GR650. It's very poor. To uh, change his drive chain. Oh, there's a big one. Which looks well, looks well fucked to that drive chain, doesn't it? Slightly. <laughs> sounds like. Uh, it sounds like what it sounds like going down the road. Stop it. Ding 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 ding. Who put that boy here? I want to get out of the way. That one. Oh, that's it, bro. Huh? Stay home with my bike so you can oh. run. All right. Oh. Forward. Ready, spin. Comes the main man. Top. No. Skip that. Done it. <laughs> oh, you found a link. And a screwdriver. What are you doing, man? Pushing the link out. I always grab it from just the bottom one. You need to click it over. Oh, what do you mean like that? No. See your bottom, bottom one. Yeah. Right, like that, and then get it on them two feet bits, and then just squeeze. Like that. Yeah. Oh, it was almost there first time. I never use pliers. Well, there's a little hammer and a screwdriver. And just tap it off. Fucking, it's like a fucking watching monkeys here, isn't it? Dearie, Hammer and a screwdriver. Really? Yeah. I think they need the professional to do it. <laughs> As you can see, Cliff's now taken over control. Perfect tools for the job. Still use the hammer and screwdriver for this bit as well. Fucking hell. That's not coming off. That's one they will tight, isn't it? 
I should just pull my head in. Yeah. If you get the screwdriver around the back in the gap now. This is Jim's. Fucking hell, Jim. We got a, a centre pump or something. Right. Fucking hell, that should just. Let's go from the other side. What about if you drove the screwdriver in there, Cliff, in that gap? No. No. Hey, what is going on here? I want to go in there, innit? Right? Yeah. Is it? Mm, no. no, no, you want to come on this bit, don't you? Yeah. Uh, let's, let's yeah. Yeah, that'll take that front bit off then. Is it in there? Yeah. 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 What, about, what about your link remover? It's not even moving, is it? Yeah. Would the link remover take it off? Probably. As you can see now, we've got the professional on the case. <laughs> fucking hell, Jim, that's fucking well rusted on there. Yeah, it's been on there 40 years, mate. Why replace something that don't need replacing for 40 years? Because otherwise you get these sort of problems. Yeah, look, we've got the professional tool for the job now. You reckon? It's in the wrong place. I can't see. I might push it through though. Don't normally do it when it's on the bike. Can't get it on there. What about if it was hanging at the bottom? Underneath. There you are. Cheers. That's an easy five minute chain job again. I know I'm getting dirty. So oh. what? So what? We've got some gunge for your fingers. If you want is a... Uh, Got a cold chisel, Jim. Right. George. Harry. So what do you reckon on it so far, Mr. Ruck? Is it, uh, yeah, I should just leave it on, put the link back on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> put plenty of grease on it, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the man with the tool. Oh, we've got some squirty. That's not a cold chisel. No, I know. Just giving it a bit of lube, like, you know? Always have a tin of that in your bedroom at all times. Loads of time, isn't it? Uh, it don't matter, it's changing that. It's uh, going to pass MOT with all them cracks in it. <laughs> it might help Why MOT? <laughs> Let's get right here. I might need a bigger Can hammer. I put this on pause? <laughs> you can run out of battery. Yeah, you can take over. No, nah, you're alright. The back's blowing up. Oh, let's have a see. Let's gonna have a look at this little Yamaha 750. As you can see, it's uh, very clean for an oldie. It's uh, got less rust than. Uh, that uh, was it the chisel? Was it the wurt? Was it the best bit? Yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> you missed it. Okay, where's your new chain? We don't know whether it was the worts, the coal chisel. And join the new chain. Dingly dangle. And then slide it backwards. Yeah, yeah. pause that for me. So, finally got that off. What we're do is link the new chain to this old chain and then run it through. That'll save losing it amongst all that lot back there. 
and we should be able to uh, just whack it back on. That's well rusted. That was well rusted in there. That that old chain. So if you whack that back in there. Not sure about this one, uh, Clifford. Oh, because it's got a wet end on it. Is that plastic? No, it's got this all this. It's just been painted so you can see where it is. No, that's a bit like the old chain that don't want to come off either. <laughs> <laughs> so are we connecting it to yeah, this one? Yeah, if you're just using that one. That down the bottom. Is this what drags all the grease in? The grit in? Otherwise you've got to take all that lot off to try and get it over that sprocket in it. Time. How am I going to do that? <laughs> oh, that'll do. Oh, you want some? <laughs> you always fall out, you know. <laughs> Hang on, look. Hey, I've got it. What's that? Stick it on here. <laughs> Use my glove. It's all going to fall out everywhere. <laughs> right, let's see it once that's on. Are you gonna clip it on or are you just gonna hope no, for the best? Hopefully yeah. it should just go round and right. that's a heavy duty one that was on there anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. Keep keep that in line. If you guide that up, Jim, that down the bottom, yeah. so we can't. Hopefully, yeah, that's a well heavy duty chain that was on there, wasn't it? Yeah. Where's the end? There's the end. Is it long enough? Yeah. It should be with a wheel forward, shouldn't it? Oh. Just hang on, it's got a caught around me doodah side step. Let's see, if you hook it, in, hook it into the sprocket, well, that one, yeah, pull it as tight as you can, and then hook it up into the sprocket. Yeah. That's it, and then come round here. Do you not want the new split link? Is that, is yeah, that, is that a wheel as far forward as it'll go? No. Oh, yeah, well. Chuck the, just get, ah. see if we can get the wheels far forward as it again. Yeah. Uh, you got the 12mm around it? Yes, and tight, isn't it? Have you got the, the 12mm? Is it not just finger tight? No, this one's not. In there, unroll that. Is it back in there? Yeah. No, it's missing. There it is. That's, that's quite loose that side. <coughs> it might really break on. Yeah, try it now, bro. Grab the bottom chain. Yeah, that's silver that side. Oh, just blinded myself with it. <laughs> yeah, 
you've got to pull it as tight as you can to, uh, on that that bottom sprocket. Next one this way if you can. I can't really see what I'm doing. Uh, needs to go forward a bit more, doesn't it, that wheel? Mm. That's going into that one. Yeah, see so chain wants to go into this one here. That one? Yeah. I can't see there's an exhaust pipe in the way. Just, um, if I can just loosen this side off, push the wheel. That way. Nothing like a socket, is it? Do you want a 12mm socket? No, I've got a 12mm socket. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go much more now, Right, if I can you drag it this time. Yeah, let's move this side. Is that the one? That's the one. There's your... That's the new one. Yeah, hold it up there as well. Uh, I can't see no ink from here. Snap. Yeah. Holding it? Yeah. That's the issue. Can we get in? What you need... Yeah. ...is a pair of snot nose pliers to hold the... Right. Drill them? Yeah. Yeah, Jim. That's it. What would you like? Would you like them ones? Yes. Yeah, or them ones? <laughs> Would you like to get white outside? I think the white goes on the inside, doesn't it? On them? I don't know. Yeah, chuck the white on the inside, then you've got I know the white was like that. I suppose that's the. What is the white anyway? It's just metal anyway, isn't it? You can find oh, it. I think it's just a coating, so you can find it, I suppose. Find out where the split link is. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah. Then <coughs> help. Better keep hold of it with the pliers because it pings off somewhere. <laughs> yeah, well you're filming it, so a bit luck we'll be able to find it. Ooh, missed. Hammer and screwdriver. No, your pl your pliers are in the way. I can't get to the bottom of it. Uh, are you on? It is there. That's one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, knees. Nice easy job, James. <laughs> I wash my hands and then um, tighten all the. Yeah, it's quite loose, quite loose when it's on. Needs a bit of adjustment then. It should be good to go. So the chain is on, tensioned up, how we want it. It's a stupid electric van. <laughs> Was that a stupid electric van? Yeah, it sounded like a gearbox is warning. <laughs> oh, look at that, I've got something to wrap my chain up. Did you tighten them up then? Is it all tightened up? Yeah. That's oh, all done. It's all sorted. What should I do with this manky old chain box? Put it in a bin. I don't know. Listen to that. Oh, that's better, isn't it? 
Oh, that sounds a bit loud. Where's oh, your, uh, your, your chain lube? In the garage. And stick some of that on here? Why? To, uh, to embed into the worn sprockets. Oh, there's none of them. <laughs> what was it doing before? It was going like clunk. Yeah. Clunk. <laughs> Did you want to keep the split link off of this one? No, thank you. Uh, well, yeah, actually, you could keep that as a spare just in case. Road. I don't know where the other Get thing went. Oh well, won't worry about that then. Oh, that Clifford, what you have got that man? These will be good. They're all coming out, look. Well, they are about 50 year old. They will be dead. Engraver out, chassis engraved on every single one. Yeah, Jim. Give it some. Probably enough, I should think, isn't it? A bit quiet? Yeah. Look at that. I'll be able to roll down the hills now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Anyway, right. ensure chain is clean, yeah. yeah. Apply sparingly to bottom run, yeah. <coughs> cover it all rollers and side plates, yeah. then allow a minimum of 30 minutes. 30 yeah. minutes? To set before riding. Fuck that. Yeah. This time <laughs> may have to be increased in colder weather. I'll give it 10 seconds in this heat. <laughs> it's just to stop it splaying all up. So I've got a Suzuki 250 GT Speedo cable. Oh, you put the speedo oh, cable no. in? Oh no, it's the GT, no, it's the Suzuki 550 speedo cable. So you've got, you've got speedo again then? You've got a, yeah. a GT 250 clutch cable, which I ain't put on yet. No. And the chain is off of a Bonnie. Yeah. It's 106, 530 same length as on your Bonnie. Is it? Yeah, is yeah. your 106 or 107? I've got extra now because I've got bigger, I oh, know it's smaller because uh, you've got the smaller at back one. and bigger at front, haven't you? Yeah. They took the half link out, it used to be an half link in it, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Should I put this in your bin? You must. Should I put this in your bin? No. It's a scrap now. Stick it in the bin now.
there's millions of flies flying around and I'm glad I put my visor down. Lanes are getting thinner. <laughs> uh, typical. Rains in this road. Seiko in there. Does he use his mirrors? Yeah. Does he use his mirrors? Yeah, I
folks that over there then? That's the safe one, they all That's the new 602. Oh, yeah. How's your zoom working? Is it good? Yeah. Taken from the US. Oh, us. Is that the right time? Quarter three, yeah. Yeah, about a couple of minutes slow. Well, They're sheep, aren't they? Cows? Pass? Cows, aren't they? Are they? I don't know. Yeah, well, look. Oh, all right. Long way away. Nah, they're too small to be cows. <laughs> That's annoying. No, I haven't done any work on my bike for a few weeks. That's annoying. Trans first transgender. Yeah, it's the sandbox, is it? Sure, come down there. That's any trouble when you're recording, you can't see the fucking screen after yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. That's the annoying thing about with me dodgy heart. 1764? 17 something? Was that 18 what? 90? Mm. He's 47. Don't say how old they were. No. Not in the memory of Lily. Lily loved white or what? Oh, so is it only her there? And he's in Kenilworth? Hard to read the old uh, inscriptions on these, so old. Stay on that one? He had a right bold H. Must be wooden cross. Just now I've got plenty of uh, spaces there. <coughs> but what's this lump here? I just mm. trod on somebody. Yeah, I'll just Sorry. Dip, tip that over. Yeah, oh, I need a wooden one. Real bad, is it? <laughs> Nineteen twenty five George Samuel nineteen oh six, age nineteen nineteen years old. Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? 
um, that one over at that other church, he was the captain of a boat that got torpedo, I think, at Dunkirk. Mm -hmm. In sixty. <laughs> Jesus. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the view. What a lovely, lovely view. No, no nails in that, bro. No, they must have filled them. Got some wood filler in there. Two thousand and twelve. Yeah, seventy-nine. Do one Old gate over there. Oh, yeah. It's a back entrance. That one's only curtain for There's some new ones over here, isn't it? Yeah. That one there is only 33. It's only 22. Yeah, I think that one over there. There's a tomb of everyone that died in the Great War, 1914 to 1919. List of names there. Memorial for them. A pretty church. You didn't shut the door, did you? <laughs> did you shut the door? It's an old, old names and old dates on there. Twelve at seventeen.
That's some roofing down on there, isn't it? Yeah. 